Friends and dear guests, I'm so glad to meet you here this morning. 2024, Risk 5 Taipei Day. In the beginning, let me share this session, Risk 5 More Than AI. I am Frank Raulin. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Okay, um, I've been for years talking about uh, uh, the trend of risk five, and uh, in the conferences I've been in Munich, in Japan, in uh, US, I talk to people. Risk five is one of the three major ISA today, and it is a open standard, and it is a standard. So, first thing is that RISC-V has a faster ever, fastest ever moving ISA in the world. So, the penetration of RISC-V is very famous and uh, obvious. The SOC built by RISC-5 is forecasted to reach 22% penetration by revenue and the units in year 2030. And the SOC for AI acceleration is projected to reach 53% penetration by 2030. So this is the uh, number uh, forecasted by SHD Group this year. Now, the industry has been adopted risk five for many applications, such as application processor, in data center, in cloud computing, in high-performance computing. Also penetrated to 5G, 4G, infrastructures for telecom and the communications and also automotive industry consumer iot ai machine learning and the age application so in ai machine learning we see a lot of uh, uh, world uh, companies, they already adopted RISC V to promote, to, to uh, design their chip and promote their product to the uh, users. And the uh, application processors on the way is uh, Google Android application. Uh, I will cover that a, a little bit later. And as I said, for data center, cloud, and HPC. For automotive, various kind of uh, applications in automotive industry. And it is a brand new market because uh, EV or new energy vehicle is a kind of uh, new topic today. Edge computing, security, we will have a panel covering this subject this afternoon. So, Talking about the risk five, in risk five community, we are proud to say risk five enables the best processors by several characteristics and advantages. For example, 
the ISA module, the flexibility, the clean start, no burden for decades, and uh, it brings the flexibility to the engineers that encourage innovation. One example is the RISFAV International Association, RVI, keep design and uh, ratify the specifications and the ISA modules along the way every year. And it is still going on. This slide shows that during 2021 to 2024 and keep going, the important ISA and the specifications for microprocessor systems have been verified in RVI. I marked the red part for your reference. Those will bring huge influence to the industries and to the world. So RIS-5 has been trying its effort to lead innovation. We have uh, several terminologies such as uh, domain-specific extensions so that in a company, the accumulated knowledge, experience, and domain know-how can be brought to the microsystem designed with RISC-V. And now it is undergoing, RVI is trying its effort to do platform standardization, such as uh, one terminology, maybe not new, maybe new to you, we call it a profile. For example, RV23, RVA23. That will uh, bring to the, uh, brought to you uh, in recent, perhaps uh, in the uh, next uh, quarter. And uh, we keep continuing uh, continuing uh, to build up the culture that everyone do contribution. So you can think about it. In ARM, how many architecture engineers they may have. But I can tell you, in this type of community, we have uh, more than 1,000 architecture experts in the world that will keep building this platform, the culture, to contribute, not limited to architecture itself. Also hardware, also software, ISA, and so on. Everybody could take benefit, but also after its effort, they will bring the contribution to the world. Yeah, I talked about this in the beginning, so let me uh, skip that. RISC-V is now one of the three major ISA standards. So, in every RISC-V conferences, people keep talking about the ecosystem. It spends effort to build. So, we are paying very much effort to building the strongest ecosystem. Today, maybe, you know, behind arm, but one day we will excel. Last year, after pandemic, we came back to have 2023 Risk Five Taipei Day event in physical. Today, we are glad to welcome you to come 2024 Risk Taipei Day. This is the slide I'd like to share with you. I call it uh, from Risk Five Beachhead to AI and Beyond AI. So from this part, this is the, we call it um, Beachhead the first place that adopt RISC-5. What is that? Finite state machine control, deeply embedded ASIC, 
or uh, we call it the house control chips. That's the beachhead. Then expand to DSP, vector processor, metric operation, and so on. It is still undergoing today. And also to microcontrollers. And then the next step, application processor. The next step, more AI. So for AI, with, with different kind of categories of uh, performance from mobs to tops to hundreds of tops, we see that many, many companies in risk valve community doing their effort to bring big data, unknown algorithms, and statistics in circuit design to do AI devices. No matter it is training or inference. So the hot topics today is generative AI, LLM, also in this industry, people are, talk about, uh, are talking about how to do hardware design for generative AI. So today's conference, we have uh, many speakers. They are strong in this uh, field. They will share their product. They're not sh with us. And what is AI computing power? I borrow a couple slides from NVIDIA to talk about that in NVIDIA, they figured out AI is the way back to 2007. So it is 2024 today. Think about it. If your company, your institute just touched AI for less than 20 years, they send 10 years, five years, then don't worry, you have a long way to go. You have to, con you have to take effort to study AI. For example, NVIDIA today, they are selling computing power by AI. They tell you, but like, like I said, in year 2007, they figure out AI is their future. So they pay effort. And look at that. In 2024, they reached so much, so high achievement. So computing power can be, uh, for AI, can be stacked, can be accumulated, can be designed. This is the secretary, uh, secret uh, for risk five that can be applied in AI. And we are honored to uh, watch the presentations uh, from today's uh, uh, speakers, from our sponsors, from our uh, invited guests, that they will do risk five aggressively. Besides, I also like to share, in fact, NVIDIA is one of the board di director in RISVAF uh, board meeting, and they have been quietly adopted uh, RISVAF in their chip design. So it's been uh, back to, you know, several years ago, like seven years, they started to do that in GPU, in NVIDIA's offering of AI and the GPU, risk of is there. Another example is Meta. Meta has been shared their first generation and second generation of their um, processor, uh, processing element inside their first generation own architecture chip for AI uh, server in their data centers adopting RISC V. So if you use Facebook, 
or uh, Meta's uh, others application app in your mobile phone, then you apply that you use this stuff to calculate to to compute the uh, data stream every day. Last but not the least, I like to tell you that. RIS5 is strong, or say strongest, competitor to ARM. We have uh, many pioneers promoting applications, AI included, but not, not uh, limited to AI. There are more, like IoT, like 5G, data center, automotive, many, many applications. We have pioneers that are aggressively promoting and using RISRAF and uh, deliver their product and solution to the world. So I'd like to conclude my presentation that this 5 era is coming. It comes with uh, AI and uh, much more. So with today's uh, uh, conference, we also have uh, one subject we'd like to share with you and uh, help us in future. That is, uh, we should work to promote research to Taiwan's IT, OEM, ODM industries downstream to the value chain because uh, that will help everybody here uh, to make profit if you are enterprises to help you to promote uh, your institute or universities. Okay, that's my presentation. Thank you. What a wonderful opening from Mr. Frank Walin, the chairman of Race 5 Taiwan Alliance and chairman and CEO of Endes Technology. Thank you very much, Mr. Frank Wall.